The Twitch should be running again. They're just walking around, eh? Yeah. Just came back up. Yeah, you're good. Welcome back, everyone. There it is. So, what was I doing? I think it was the the screen share uh, that that was causing the issue. Well, let's. God, I'm so scared to try it again. <laughs> Well, first of all, we need to uh, talk about the spot fund. The second yeah. time. <laughs> your, computer, your computer took 15 minutes to come back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about right. Uh, so, thank you all for following uh, uh, us on here. Uh, I've lost my train of thought. So anyway, one of the that's one of the gotta get real for a minute. Uh, one of the members of our Discord community had gotten into a car wreck not too long ago, and we were in the process of trying to raise money for uh, to help them out because they were going to be out of work for a few weeks. So we have a spot me fund set up or a spot fund set up. To help gather up some money to help pay with medical bills, help, help pay for medical bills, and they're just general bills and some food and groceries and feed the kids and stuff like that. And we're just asking the community to help out and share what you can, as even if it's as little as a dollar, to to do that. We really would appreciate it. Uh, we will have the link in the bottom of the Discord chat or the uh, the TikTok I've here tossed, in a moment to, that you can. I've I've tossed it up in uh, every time we talk about it. I've tossed it up in uh, TikTok and Twitch. Yes, so I, be, I just put it on TikTok again. Thank you. So it should be scrolling through here just a moment, just a momentarily. Ooh, that's the back of my phone is. I bet you that's what caused the problem. I bet you it was the phone that touched the screen and caused it to flip out. Yeah. If you if you get a, a, a phone, especially if it receives any kind of kind of signal, it will mess up your display. Well, I think that's what I think the because I've got a touch touch screen. And I think it was touching the screen while we were doing it, while I was doing the other stuff, and it uh, caused excess touching. <laughs> Did not ask for consent. Ooh, sweetheart. I, it, I mean... Uh, all right. Did not listen to uh, the crabgrass. Yes, did not listen to crabgrass. All right, so let's get back into what, what the other reason for tonight, which we've spent an hour and a half not doing... Uh, and that's going over character creation using D and D Beyond. So, for those of y'all that do not know, D and D Beyond is a really good source of, huh? of just. just uh oh, uh, just a good source. Of information and it's got the books you can do your character sheet and if you have certain subscriptions you can share what you have with everyone else so y'all could pull your funds together in your D&D group and designate your poor forever DM and get them the bundle or subscription and then whatever he has in that, he can share to the rest of you. And it's a really cool thing. It's what I do at my table is I have the, the thing, the, the bundle, everything. And then I share it with my players. And then my son runs a game. He, share, he shares it, all kinds of stuff. Separate idea. You can also, or two ideas to give for this. One I'm this is directly involved with that. Uh, 
15 DOE, I might not like it as much, but if you have a rotating cast of DMs, just make a DM account. Yeah. And give everybody the password. Yeah, but then if everyone gets or uses their free account, they can go in there and use everything that the DM has. Yeah. Oh, and I got all kinds of stuff. You're about to see some of it. <clears throat> all right. Um, the, only bad the other idea... Go ahead. The only bad thing is you got to pay twice. Not you if you use the free account. If everybody has access to the D... Or if you make a DM account for literally everybody, everybody puts in for that, and then... Uh, and then they all just have their own free accounts as well. Go ahead and pull up your stream on the... Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, why? There's... There's four of you. Four of you in this day. And I see in two of them, one of them, is that, is that, is that Albert and Tormi in the, the TikTok? And I can't tell who, Armando, Armando the Villa? It's going pretty good. So I'm going to swing uh, that camera around so it can see the screen. Well, that's a bad screen there. You happen to have a shallow mirror? A shout? No, I do not have any mirrors. Can't you tell? It's not like I've got any hair on my head, comb, and the rest of it I see on TikTok. For situations like this, where it's not Discord, you might want to get yourself a like a, a standing mirror so that you don't have the issue of like having to share screen and things not working and TikTok not or TikTok not being able to see it. Well, I was about to switch the camera around and then just turn the phone towards it. This this works. <clears throat> That's why I was looking to see how many people were actually in the in the TikTok to see if it was going to be worth doing that. Uh, you're up to 5 on TikTok. All right, so I'm gonna. Now I have one of those on over on TikTok as well. So I'm gonna try to. You've got fourteen people in your, including the bots in uh, Twitch. Now see, I need another stand right here to hold the this phone. And then... <laughs> Alright. So can y'all see it well on on Twitch? You have the ultimate stand. It's a child, come here, hold this. My, my <laughs> child, my childs are teenagers and then they'll tell me to fuck off. So... <laughs> So this is your basic starting of your character creation. Now you can go randomize and it will, when they say randomize, you get to choose what aspects of it are random and you can get, yeah, there's no telling what you'll come up with. Quick build gives you the basics, uh, if you're wanting to just throw something together. It's a little less than the randomization, a little more than the standard. I of course like to use the standard because I like to see the things. And it has that little nifty uh, beginner walkthrough. So, once you open it up, you'll get a spot for your character name. And we're going to... We're going to name this character... I, need to, I, I can't type with one hand. Uh, I, I can barely type with two. What do you think we should name this character? Uh, 
how about Her Starting straight off with the name, not even dealing with race, class, or background yet? No! Because I've got to be strange. Uh, Bob. Actually, let's just randomize that and just... Our character's name is Javera. And you notice those names are created by the fantasy name generators. She's got all kinds of generators. But yeah, it's going to generate a... It'll just have your name there, and you can also, if you know what you're going to play, you can go in here and play with the portraits. Those aspects, but we're not even going to worry about that at the moment. I don't even know why I showed that to you, because I'm getting ahead of myself. So, these are all the options you have. Homebrew content, critical role stuff, playtest content, Magic the Gathering, Eberron, Rick and Morty, non-core D&D. Me, I just go ahead and click everything on. Because I never know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, you can choose your advancement type. I usually leave it on milestone. Uh, hit points. Feats, multi-classing. Encumbrance. Ignore coin weight. How you want to set up your modifiers. And whether people can actually see your character or not. So, next step is choosing your race. Now, you do get all of the races that are listed in, for the free set, you get all the races listed in the player's handbook. And you have to unlock the other ones by either purchasing them individually or buying the book that they come in through here. So there are a lot of choices. Oh, well, they updated that? Well, I have a lot of uh, homebrew stuff. I have a lot of... Because uh, I know like, you couldn't do the hill elves, you couldn't do the drowls. That are in the pH. Yeah, I got 13 subclasses of elf. Okay. But again, I bought the legendary bundle, and most of the books that have come out, I download them, and I also have a lot of uh, homebrew stuff that I've pulled in here. Things like Three Cobalts in a Trench Coat, The Mouse Folk, The Pixie. You know, everything that's got a little H by it is a homebrew. Abomination. Huh? The top homebrew abomination. Yes. Imagine that with your juggernaut class. I have not actually read through what an abomination has for... For features. So, but, yeah. I want to build a Warforged. I just really like the Warforged. So, here the, it pulls up a, a picture for your Warforged. It gives you the basics of it. Anything in blue is something that you can actually adjust. The rest of them is just stuff to read, general information on them. We can choose to increase constitution by two or any other and any other ability score by one. So let's go. I think this I alright. So we're gonna go with the charisma score for the other increase. Specialized design. So you have these basically what he was built for. This guy? We're going to go performance. And we're going to go with. Hmm. I already have a completely different name for this guy. Uh, so do I. Uh, jewelry, kit, cobbler, cartographer. 
I think we're going to go alchemist supplies for this. And one extra language. Let's, why not? So once you fill out the blue, then you just click the next little thing. Or you can go to a specific point by clicking it up at the top here. Then we're going to choose the class. Now, here's where things are going to get interesting. I'm not sure what class this guy should be. I know what. Oh, he's got to be an artificer. So, yep. And here you get to choose your. Again, it's all on the. It's all in the blue. So you get to choose which of these skills you want to go. We're going to go to medicine. Nature and let's see, we took alchemy. Let's take there are 29 people following you across platforms with some crossover. Well, I don't think we're gonna hit that, that one mark. I told you, I'm only funny in, in two minute increments. <laughs> Nah, uh, you're funny a lot more, but looks aren't everything. Yeah, that's it's it's what my wife tells me anyway. Uh, let's go brewer supplies, because why not? There is always good. And of course your methods, manual or rolled, point by, standard array, they're all here. I like the standard array because I... I just like the way it works out. Now this guy is going to have a high charisma, so I'm going to put the 15 there, uh, and we're going to go ahead and probably put these three as the highest. Khan will be the lowest, and then I think that will work out well for him. Yeah, the different the different styles. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with the manual. The manual rolled. That is literally you rolling the dice, and you can do uh, this. Actually, has I've set it up so you can roll them. Have the digitally have it digitally roll, which you can see there they go. Some of those dice look really cool. And it will generate the scores for you. I love you. Rivers is top roll when you rolled. Hey, I had a 14. Oh, these are actually these are coming up nice. So essentially what the rolling is doing means you're rolling 4d6 and then you're going to drop yeah. below it and okay. add the other. So, and you can do this with your dice or let the computer do it for you. Uh, so that's the rolling method. You will, you are able to assign those to specific scores. So you can, it would tell you, or you could tell it, all right, this is going to be my con score. Or this is going to be my intelligence. And once you put those on there, they're taken away from the other list. The last one is the point buy. This is where you are given a set amount of points, and by picking the levels the skills are at, I don't like the point by system. I don't like the standard point by uh, system. The the one that. I was used to in uh, previous editions had the ability to give more points if you were doing a high power. Yeah, they 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 really yeah you could you could because it didn't get you started off at eight you know you you started you had more points to spend you started at ten and you started with something like. 
32 on the low end and 54 on the high. Yeah. And then you could actually drop your scores below 10 to get more. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I pretty much ignore the point buy. If I'm going to do point buy, I might as well do standard array in my opinion. And that's why I do the standard array. Standard array is the easier version of the point buy that's available there. Yeah. Essentially, the point buy creates a balanced ability score as well. Yeah, I think it's like you can get 12s and 13s across the board. Yeah. Which... I like a little bit of variety into it. I say that, of course, I know you get this. the Warforge gets a plus two in Constitution. So putting that eight in that Constitution brings me to a ten, so I'm, I'm still good. Oh, no. You're average. Yeah. Darn. Good enough. You're, you're mostly physically average. You are above average to exceptional in the intelligence in your mental stats. So then we have the background where you get to choose any of these wonderful backgrounds or create a custom background. I've not played with that on here to, to see on there, but you get to... Yeah. I've not... Like I said, I haven't played with a custom background on here. Oh, you get to choose an option from one of the other ones? That's nice. The hardest part is the uh, the background uh, feature that you get from any background because you have to create it. Yeah. Everything else is select. Now these you could just select any of these. Urban Bounty Hunter I believe is in the book so we'll just confirm that one. And then you get to choose a couple skills from here. But, actually, we're not choosing Urban Bounty Hunter. That's not what this guy is. We are choosing... Entertainer? No. Charlatan. I have... I, I have... <laughs> what was that? A bad entertainer, then. So, this is actually going to be somebody that is uh yes, I'm, I'm, I'm using this beyond. huh someone asked on tiktok if this is D D or what side it is it's D D beyond yes D D beyond so i'm actually using charlatan because i had a character that was in a previous campaign professor nikolai t whipplebottom and mm -hmm. i believe this Warforged is one of his creations. So we will be changing the name eventually. To Jukebox. <laughs> no, there was a... It's going to be... I'm going to name it after one of the players that was in that previous campaign. Did that make him a Jukebox hero? <laughs> Thank you for finishing my joke. That was bad. TikTok, you're welcome for not having to hear that bad joke. Uh, so here you can either choose your... You can either start with gold. Or... Which I just go ahead and... Give myself the equipment. It gives me... I don't have to worry about going through the book and trying to find... All right, what can I purchase? Uh, no, I can. Okay, I get two simple weapons. So quarter staff and short bow. A boomerang. Was there a boomerang? There was a boomerang. More boomerang won't come back. Uh, like crossbow, let's give him scale mail. Thieves tools and dungeoneering pack that'll work. Ten stoppered bottles filled with colored liquid. Yes. Shiny. Click the add starting equipment and. Do -do -do -do. Are you sure you don't want a set of weighted dice? 
Yes, because this guy guy's going to be running around in a wagon selling goods to along to people along the side of the road. He may do so interdimensionally. So then you can go in here and click the items that he is going to be using or carrying or wearing. All of his other possessions, his other items. Here's where you can add all kinds of extra goodies that are in there. But yeah, that's the basis of it. You click the next button. As long as you follow that, it'll take you. It, it doesn't take much. Literally, just follow the instructions as you go across. And you can do this on the computer or on the phone. Yep. They have their own app. Computer, you can do it on the phone. Yes, he's a Warforged snake oil salesman. Because Professor Nikolai T. Whipplebottom was a gnome uh, snake oil salesman. And at one point, he did find a Warforged arm. So, he built the entire Warforged from the arm. So, this guy is going to be, like, falling apart and everything else. Held together with duct tape and spirit gum. Prayers. He's, he needs, he needs uh, to sell things so that he can buy the next part to <laughs> fix the... Yep. I, I need to buy more screws. So, and that's it. And then you have your your character Has sheet. Has somebody seen my nuts? <laughs> and the character sheet is saved on your profile on the site. And then you can also yep, anytime you log in, you can go over to your collections. Go to my characters. And there's where it will be. old school like me you can also export it and then print it out so you got a physical copy too. yeah yeah for those of you that uh can you do this with any edition no this is only for fifth edition uh this there was are, there are sheet and uh, i'm ashamed that i am a dm that's only got 14 characters and you have an unlimited amount yep well, I mean, any ver any uh, version that you have or that you purchase, you gain unlimited. Oh, poor ally there. This guy, he was great, but he's dead. <laughs> so, Lee, how much do the bundles cost? I actually can't tell you that. Uh, somebody asked on uh, Discord how much the bundles cost, and I actually cannot tell you that because I can no longer see the bundles because I I am currently purchased at the master tier, All right, well, which I believe is about sixty bucks a year, and I paid that, and so I'm good for I think I pay it every December now. All right, well I've got it pulled up. If you want to do the one-time purchase bundles, like no monthly fee, just straight up buy it. The legendary, in all 42 official source books and adventure books, is $811. The source book bundle is 18 official source books, and that's 418. And then the adventure bundle is 24 official adventure books. That's so how much was the legendary bundle? Eight hundred and eleven dollars. So a legendary bundle, which gives you like a crap ton of everything, uh, eight hundred dollars. When I bought the legendary bundle, it was seven hundred, but I had a little bit of a windfall. I got lucky. It was an accidental purchase. So then now it's the subscriptions. You can do the hero tier or the master. Hero tier is for your players. Um, you got unlimited characters, publicly shared homebrew content, access to your tools, uh, monthly subscriber rewards, and that is $25.99 per year, $14.99 for six months, or $2.99 per month. So. And the math tier, which is designed 
for dungeon masters and player groups. You get everything from the hero tier, and you can share and unlock the different content with players in your campaign. So that would be like any of the books that you bought DM on the site, you can share with the players. And that's $54.99 a year if you pay annually, uh, $29.99 for every six months, or $5.99. So, what was the price of the Heroes tier for the year? $25. It's $25.99. So, 26 bucks for a year of the Heroes tier on there, and for the the Master tier? The Master tier was $54.99. And 55 bucks a year for the Master's tier. With the Master's tier, you can, sh you can have... You can... Uh have unlimited campaigns, but you can only share your stuff through five of them. I found this out recently. Uh, so you can share everything that you have if you have the master tier with up to five campaigns. Now within those campaigns, you can have up to 12 players per campaign. So, if you go 12 people, y'all could actually all jump together and 50 bucks a year or $55 a year your gaming group it's worth it I absolutely love the program they have uh, not only do you have the character creation on there they you can look it up by classes by the monsters themselves what source book it is and it's like a PDF file of the source book you can look through every one of them I do not own all of these, it just shows all of them. Uh, you have the mobile app. This is What I like is the encounter builder is becoming very useful. You pull up your this is also what I use for doing research when I'm going to do a homebrew for the Discord and Patreon. What you got in the ears there, but what do you mean? You mean my headphones? It's because I'm an official streamer now. Gotta have the headphones. <clears throat> now, to be clear, that monthly subscription is not for the source books. Yeah, the monthly subscription just gives you access. You still have to purchase. You get the basic source books. Uh, you still have to purchase the individual things. And you can purchase uh, in a bundle can purchase it uh, each book individually you can purchase just like magic items I went through the whatever the latest one was and purchased uh, just a bunch of magic items that were presented in the book just so I would have access to those you mean uh, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft no that was the one before it wasn't Van Richten's guy. I think I, I think I purchased the magic items out of uh, Ice Fire. Uh, because I saw something in there that, that intrigued me, and I said, I must have it. <laughs> so, that's all I purchased out of it, because I wasn't in, I don't plan on running anything in the Ice Fire, so. Most, most of the Candle Keep Mysteries was before that, I think. <laughs> Which one? Candlekeep Mysteries. It may have been Candlekeep. I don't know if I bought... I know I bought the... I don't remember. Uh, okay, I did not buy Candlekeep a physical copy, so I may have just purchased the uh, the digital version. And yeah, I have... Never. If I buy it in the book, I usually, I usually buy both. One paycheck I'll buy the book the next paycheck I'll buy the digital copy or vice versa because I like having access to some of those things in both formats Archangel just posted in our discord for a group of 12 to pick up the legendary and a year of master it splits up to less than 75 bucks a person to pick up a legendary and a year of master for a group of 12 people yeah a group of 12 people can pick up the legendary bundle and a year 
at the master tier subscription for about 75 bucks per person. So that's not a bad deal if you can, you know, pull your money together and and do that. For, for the cost of one movie night, for the you cost. can have a year ex, access to D&D for a year. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's, it's, I think, I personally think it's worth it, especially if you're playing online a lot. Uh, because you can build your campaign, you can open it up. Huh? Don't they give you a percentage off of the new books too when you buy the yes. bundle? You do get it. You buy it in a bundle and you get it cheaper. Uh, I, I get a discount on almost all the books. And all they're the books always. End up being 10% cheaper after you've bought one of the bundles. All of the. And just the. Just 20% once you hit a uh, legendary bundle. Nope. I'm looking at it right now. Legendary bundle is 15%. You have another Dude. question on TikTok. Yeah, that's what I was trying to... The Dude. School of Elegance. Hold on. I have to refresh my memory on the School of Elegance. Eloquence? Eloquence, yes. And I can do so quickly with D&D Beyond. They really need to sponsor me. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. And what can they add to the box? Bundles, if you just want a couple of the source books. Just source books for the most part run about thirty dollars a piece. And then there's like one or two in there that's ten, one I think only one that's twenty. If you click onto one of the source books to see the contents involved, you can go to the bottom of it and actually it'll show you the like list of magic items or you can, literally you can buy just a magic item or just a character class. Yeah, that may have been what I got the out of the book. I don't remember, or I don't want to tell anybody. Uh, but considering the price of the like source the portal book package. compared to the price of the bundles, it's well worth it just to get the bundles themselves. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth yeah. it to get the bundles if if you can do it because those those things are. But they're always they're they're always running. I'm always getting emails saying, "Hey, we've got this bundle. This particular book is extra X amount off right now." And well, if you figure about thirty dollars per source, book, the legendary bundle comes with forty two, which is one thousand two hundred sixty dollars. So you minus the eight hundred eleven dollars for that, you're saving just under five hundred dollars on source books just by getting. Yeah, and that's not a problem. I mean, I I knew what you meant when you I didn't elegance and I said elegance as well. They're the ones. It's the people on on here that were being correcting on that. All right, now they're not talking to me. Just upset them. So the College of Eloquence. That's a that's a speaking place. I I can't speak well. <laughs> didn't freeze again y'all still right yeah we're here. Oh, okay <laughs> we're very intently listening ah adherents of the college of eloquence master the art of oratory or or oratory persuasion is regarded as a high art so oh silver tongues and bulletproof uh ah, unsettling words these that would be good for that. Maybe I need to go back and change that artificer from the artificer to a bard. This would be really good. Can trying to convince them to buy his magic elixirs. Yeah, just have him be the barker for your dude. For Whipplebottom. Oh, Whipplebottom himself is retired. Some forty years ago, his uh, his children now take the business and. They've expanded into the multiverse. Very uh, no, see, his wife had an unfortunate accident in the lab. There may have been some insurance money involved, but you know, the the people at uh and Baldur's Gate didn't investigate too deeply. 
professor may have accidentally joined the uh, the Zen uh, during the the rise of Tiamat. He was a crafty little man. Uh, yeah, that I, I like this. I wish I was as eloquent as you could be on this, because that would just be fun. Yeah. May have to may have to change that, that artificer. Let's go change that artificer. Let's make him a bard. While you're running over there, uh it's been thirty. It's been thirty. Yeah, I was gonna say. So again, those of y'all that are watching, we're uh we've been in the process of trying to raise some money up for a friend of ours. Oh thank you. Um uh, trying to raise some money up for a friend of ours. We have a that have been in an accident. Uh, they're a member of my Discord channel community and a member of TikTok community. Uh, and we're just trying to help them out. They've, their car was totaled. Uh, they're going to be out of work for a few weeks. We just want to get them some help. Uh, help with some bills and uh, medical bills and grocery bills and electrical and all that good stuff and just help them out a little bit and as a community that's something we could probably all stand behind because I imagine if uh, there may be a time when you need some help and you'd want the community to stand behind you just saying so the link should be popping up in the TikTok momentarily yeah, I, in TikTok. I didn't see it go by that's why I was Uh, don't you have a video of it posted too? Yes, I do have a video on there. Uh, I will have to, and I have also have that video posted on my YouTube channel, uh, which you can find it at the the AMDM on YouTube, and the video is posted there. In your links, your and it's also the links are in. And Discord. On Discord. I posted, I, yeah, I posted the link they approved links earlier. So, yeah, we just any little bit could help out. Uh, we're just trying to help them. Come on. Go forth and help us out. Did it pop up on TikTok yet that I posted it? Uh, my TikTok's acted all funny, so... I don't see yours I posted up a thing too I don't see yours I don't either see yours. <laughs> yeah I, I, I posted uh, last thing I see is uh, before me was uh, Mark Ziv saying hi great to see you so yeah it's it's called helping hand or Healing hands. Healing hands. Healing hands on Spot dot Fund. Uh, so if you could go help them out, I'd appreciate it. They'd appreciate it. We all would appreciate it. We'd appreciate each other. You should probably add that to your link page in uh, the TikTok bio. Yes, uh, I will have to. I won't be able to do that tonight, but I, I will probably end up doing that tomorrow morning. This poor computer is trying to do all of this at once. Uh, you are up to 34, uh, 34 people across all three. 34 people? Together. You know, if we get 16 more in here before I stop this, uh, I'm giving away a set of dice to somebody. Hello, everybody. Call in your friends. Call your friends. Bring them to... Want some dice? Get them to come in here. Don't even have to actually watch. Yeah, you just... Yeah, we're, we're, giving, a, we're giving, a, giving a set of dice away. And those dice were provided by DemonDice.ca. You can check out his link in the Discord. Yeah, he doesn't have a link yet, does he? 
No, no he hasn't. Ha he hasn't sent us a link yet. He has got to get on that. Come on, Demon Dice. All In the meantime, right. you can come to. But you can check to the Discord, and we can get you that information. Yeah, if you come to Discord, he'll personally make you a set of dice. <laughs> I don't know if he'll personally do it. I don't know how he does it. I just Custom dice. he'll get you some dice, and you can see not only that, but you can also see wonderful products by our own Nate Freeze at Freeze Productions. He's also here on TikTok somewhere. I'm not sure where. I see the, that, that number on TikTok grew up 13 real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you're still on your stream on Twitch, so it's just the D&D &D Beyond page. Yeah, I know. I'm loading up a D&D &D Beyond. I gotta go change that artificer. Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for it to load. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, it's wait a minute. At Daniel Freeze. There we go. We're gonna go right over here to class. What the? I did not go into my homebrew collection. But there. There are some amazing homebrew stuff in here. There is some stuff in here that's really, really cool. And then there's some stuff in here like the Mimic Armor. That's really cool. Uh, and then there's stuff in here like Egg. Egg? Egg is one of my favorite... Let's Before we go to Egg, you have to look at the name of this top spell here. Arg. The name of the spell is Arg. Or, ah! Uh, you point at another creature and shout the command word to cause the target to scream uncontrollably for the duration. The target has some ability to influence what they're screaming, but it is largely unintelligent. While screaming, the target is naturally unable to cast any spells that require a verbal component. And any creature within, able to hear within 10 feet of the target is also deafened. Creatures are unable to speak. Creatures unable to speak are unaffected by this spell. There's more than one way to silence a, a, a wizard. It's just a fun spell. I don't think it would be useful. It's basically counter spell with that they've thrown deafening onto. But I love it. One of those things. It's very situational. Yeah, it's 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 just a funny take on it. That is that is the low low level version of dispel. Yeah, it is. The only one that's lower than that is throw a rock at him. So this hey, is. Do you have any uh, tips for start doing a hybrid campaign? Like uh, uh, I got friends that like live far away that want to do it over Discord and then join with like a live group. I attempted that the very first time I attempted Discord um, where my family was playing and we had some friends still in Louisiana that were trying to sign on but again with everybody trying to sign on it just my the, my system couldn't handle it here. If you had if you had it with the computers I had, I couldn't handle it. So if you had enough uh, good enough computers, yeah, it would work out. And you could use uh, a combination. You just have to make sure you, if you if you do cameras, set them up right. If not, Discord it, and it should work just fine. It wouldn't be that hard to do. If you've only got one or two people coming in from the internet, yeah, you put up a, a single laptop and just have it have it open on there. Now, if you're trying to yeah, do like ready. larger groups together, it may be a little bit more of an issue. 
Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have my Discord uh, on the, on the other line, so to speak. Um, where we've got because I'm, I'm doing this on I'm also streaming on Discord, which is streaming it to Twitch. So got all kinds of stuff going on. His computers can barely handle it. And yeah, I am pushing this bad boy as hard as I can. Now this also, expo. Uh, Hirodo, uh, asked what your least favorite spell is. My least favorite spell. Uh, fireball. No, I have no problem with fireball. I've even I've had villains. My, I've had some big, some BBEGs that uh, really love Fireball, especially when they know they can take the damage of it. They'll fire that son of a gun off at their own feet. Uh, I don't know if I ha have a least favorite. I don't think there's. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have a cut. I like playing, uh, I like magic users, and I like creative magic users, people who can, I, I like playing them because I'm a creative person, you know, and using like utility you know, spells in unusual yeah, ways I enjoy. Like a sorcerer dropping spells from the dragon's back? while flying over the battle. Well, that's a good idea. I, I do yeah, I did that about seven spell. years ago. Eight years I, ago. I do have one spell that I think you might have an issue with, because rules is written, it's useless. Which one? Oh, true strike. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> there you go. That's a spell I don't like. True strike. It's a wasted spell. It's a useless spell. It's just a horrible spell. You can fix it with one line of text. All right, how would you fix that, Dormy? First off, you change it from self only to touch. So change it to a touch spell. And then second, you change the way that it's worded that until the end of your next turn, instead of until the, the way that it is currently worded, isn't it also a full action to cast? Yeah, and make it yeah. a bonus action. I'd turn that... Turning it into a bonus action almost 100% fixes it. Burn it, adds, burn it as a bonus action, and then do your do a full action spell. Or a, a full action bonus, attack. Bonus action and make it a touch spell, and it's fixed. Yeah, bonus action and turn it into a touch spell, it's fixed. That, that would work. Okay, so egg... Egg is, is a spell I found. It has been viewed 18,671 times and has been added to 1,038 different DMs have added this, or players have added this spell to their collection. And yes, I'm one of that. One of those. This is an actual spell. Anybody, it's a second level conjuration spell. This is free game for any spell caster. I am more than happy to put this spell in there. You cast egg, you roll a d6. On the roll of a one... Hideous laughter to drown a Tarrasque. I saw that. And... There's a lot going on before that's possible. Because you... Besides the melding to stone... Uh, there's a lot... That's gotta that's gotta go just right, and the only way that would all work is b besides having everything perfectly go right is if you win initiative. Because if you lost initiative, you're toast. Sorry, it won't happen. Yeah, I, I saw that. I was trying to sneak that back there. But yeah, egg is great. You roll a d6, you summon one d6 eggs to <laughs> in your space. There's things like, on a five, you summon one large egg. It hatches a friendly beast. 1d4 eagles, a giant owl, 
a crocodile, a spider swarm, 1d4 flying s snakes, or one giant chicken? Chicken boo, what's the matter? Not, not a poultry geist? Not a poultry geist. But you can summon our four, you summon 2d8 hard boiled eggs to restore two hit points. It's a nice little utility spell. It is probably one of my favorite spells that I've seen. And there's a material component. Is it an egg? An egg? It's, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. There's not a material component to it. It's, but it. Well, it says material. It says material component, but it doesn't list it. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does down at the bottom. Ah, egg. But uh, why would you? That makes number one kind of useless. Well, I guess you, unless you wanted more eggs. Ah, then you. I like the, of the wishing for more witches. <laughs> <laughs> Create or destroy water and drown anything that needs to breathe air. It has lungs. Now you're starting to get into. We start trying to, like, I want to summon this inside that. Not gonna happen. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's a lot of line of sight stuff. The only way you're doing that is from inside yourself. Yeah, there's. There's a few things that I'm not going to... that wouldn't fly at my table. I've taken down several of these while being consumed at the same time. Yep. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, your personal life is not something you need to put on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I figured why not. Now, if you want to have... Uh, if you want to have fun with spells... Things like the create and destroy water and all that. The original Hackmaster game, they built loopholes into the spells. Into the mechanics of it. Because everything they talked about in the in the comic book of uh, the Knights of the Dinner Table, that the loopholes that their players found, they actually added that into the actual game. So there was a there was a spell in there, summon liquid. And if you took, like, one ounce of a liquid and drank it, you could summon, it would summon, like, a barrel's worth of this liquid. And it specifically said liquid. It did not say what the liquid was. So, in, so in theory... If you took molten gold and drank it, you would summon a barrel full of molten gold. That's wonderful and terrifying. <laughs> so as long as you had a really good cleric on hand, <laughs> you could down some molten gold, it would summon a barrel of molten gold, the cleric would heal you, and then you would have a barrel of molten gold that would eventually cool into a pile of gold. A solid chunk of, of gold. Sure. So there's loopholes like that built into the Hackmaster game. Of course, I she was going horribly wrong. What, what other game can you have a drooling narcoleptic <laughs> as, as a player character? As built a during character. built during character creation as part of the character creation the same one where I have a, a minotaur that has a 20 strength and only three intelligence <laughs> he's strung like oxen uh, dumb like rocks <laughs> that, that sounds like our beefalo yeah <laughs> swear to god but yeah I I, I Kicking that one of these days. I, I love that Two age of spell. you had that argument, and I was. I Hackmaster was your first TTRPG? Oh, I am so sorry. I do apologize for the, for that. Well, what was the name of that battle system that you hated so much? Battle system that I hated so much? Yeah, it has that weird acronym. The one he created? No, it's from early D&D. Thacko? Thacko? 
Thacko. Yeah, that one. I, I didn't really hate Thacko. It was just overcomplicated. I love Thacko. It's you do know that that's the uh, basis of any version of D and D video game uh, randomizer, right? Thankfully, I don't play the video games. Yeah, Thacko is just. Thacko is an algebraic equation that they used for armor class in second edition D. &D. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it's bad enough they have math and reverse math. They don't need algebra too. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it wasn't it wasn't that hard. It was you know, if you rolled at eighteen you were hitting an armor class two. You could hit up, down to an armor class or up to and you know there was you figured out your Thacko what the first time. You didn't have to worry about it ever again. You what? just did addition or subtraction. What bugged me about uh, some of the earlier editions, which they they went for realism on them, or tried to go to a more realistic version of combat. So you would gain, you know, your fighter would be able to do 1.5 attacks per round. So you could do one attack and then a half of attack, and then you'd finish that attack off on your next round and another full attack. It, it's it, it was a, a weird combination of of attack per round. Okay, so you can do an attack on round one, round three, and round eight, you know, or something like that. It was just it was really weird the way it went went through, and that I didn't like, so we ignored it. All right, let's... I'm just glad they got rid of Baleful Transposition. <laughs> that, that was a hard... We, we had two players. Actually, it was a combination of three players. Uh, my one friend was a Necromancer. He took over his brother, who was a Shadowmancer, who decided to fight the wizard. The Shadowmancer right. throws these shadow You can shirt find a game uh, on... Actually, on my Discord channel, we have a Looking for Game group. And you can find that link in the bio, along with our Patreon, and our Discord, and my YouTube, and everything else is on there. Uh, but yeah, we have a Looking for Game group in the Discord. There are also plenty out there that are not attached to us, but... You know, flipping that little thing up, I was hoping it turned off the mic. Guess not. D&D &D, D &D Beyond also has that. Yes, D&D uh, &D Beyond also has like forums on there, but you know what? Let's not talk about, let's not give them too much more hype because I've been showing their stream, just streaming the page of them for, a, for half an hour now. We're not getting paid to do that. And I'm not getting paid to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and just end that right now. Yeah. They, they don't pay me. But, you know what? We do have sponsors. D&D Beyond may not be one, but Freeze Productions is. So he's got miniatures. He's got maps. He's got cool shit. Oh, Freezer, you notice uh, the item that you sent me, the... The, the map of my campaign world, you notice it's not on the wall behind me. I, I did notice that. Uh, it, it, it has magnets on it. And you have a foam wall. And I have a foam <laughs> wall. But, I realized that after I said that's that. okay. I'm actually, I actually have a solution. I just haven't been able to enact it yet. And now that I've got this big box that's got to hang on the wall too, I've gotta, I'm going to have to do some arranging when I have time off. But I'm going to move my camera here real quick. Uh, if you look right up there. That's steel ventilation. Yeah, that's where your your map is currently stuck to my ceiling. So when I'm, <laughs> when I'm sitting here trying to think of things, I can lean back and look at the map <laughs> to, to, fig, to, to figure things out. 
might actually just want to leave it there at that I, point. I, I may. I may just do that. Just kind of lean back and go, all right, that's, they're there, so they need to move that way. Yeah, I can... Now, there's actually a second part to that that I haven't told you about yet. Uh oh It's going to require input from you, though, for what you're going to need at the time. That whole thing's magnetic, right? Yes, it is. His eyes just put down? Huh? Say what? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I, I, I think so. Because I was already planning on sticking some magnetic stuff to it. But. 3D print specific things for what you want so I, you can mark locations, where parties are at. Like. Yeah, that's definitely going to have to go on a wall over here. Because that way everybody can see it, not just me. That is, that's a very good idea. I like that idea. Hi, AMDM. Uh, hi, how are you doing? The Black Door campaign and the Order of the Scale is both on that cotton, are they not? Yeah, everything. Every, every game I every game I run is on that on that continent. I see what you're putting down now. Magnetic yeah. darts. A button for each one of your campaigns that's running on that continent. Yeah, I need what I'm going to have to do is do a we do buttons and I'll have to color code them, but not for the games, but for the years. Because right now there are three three current campaigns running on that continent. Or three current games. Uh, soon to be four. They're all at the mouth they're all at the, the the mouths of the rivers. And I do have a name for that river. Uh, I don't remember what I wrote it down somewhere, but it's actually written down now. You'll find it. Yeah. Oh, it is the uh, Ragdoon River. No, I'm not in a game now. Uh, I am actually chatting with you guys, chatting with Discord, and streaming it on the Twitch. So, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. While TikTok gets half of the conversation. Well, yes, we're, well, you only get half of the conversation. If you want the rest of the conversation, you have to come over to the Discord channel or go watch us on Twitch because there you get more of the conversation there. And while you're on Twitch, you would see that there would be a link at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that's what you call a segue. Uh, <laughs> that this one that's coming up right now. That link, which will be popping up here in just a moment, is for uh, a spot fund. We had a member of our Discord community that had an accident. Uh, their car was totaled, and they're going to be out of work for a, a few weeks. And we're just trying to raise some money up to help them pay some of the medical bills. Uh, just help them with some of the bills that are going to be coming up. Your, your, your typical light bills and like you know water and all that stuff and groceries. So they can make sure they can feed their kid. Uh, and anything else will be to help with car repair. Well, the car is totaled. So it will be helping for anything that they would need help with for being out of work. So if there, if you could donate, if, even if it would be a dollar, that would be so useful. Because we as a community need to stand together and have each other's backs. And this is somebody that's in our community that needs that help now and we want to be able to provide it we have a platform here that we can reach out and say hey can y'all help and that's what we're doing uh, I never saw it pop up over here well, for some reason my messages are no longer coming across on TikTok hmm Is. Color coding, I've got an airbrush, so once you figure out the colors for it, I can put them out and then paint them before I put the magnets on. I will, I will. I, I'm not sure, because right now I think everybody's get, running at the same, roughly the same time. Because, yeah, y'all are within maybe weeks of each other, time wise. So, 
for those of y'all, so y'all, I can make sure that y'all see the link, because it may have been a uh, quote unquote removed. TikTok maybe maybe blocking the the web page. That may be true. So we're gonna flip that camera around, and that is the website right there. And it's also my Twitch channel, so if you want to come over there and hang out, that's more than happy. You can get into the other half of the conversation. But if you could go to that website and even, like I said, donate a buck, we'd appreciate it. It's uh, it's going to help somebody with. Uh, ooh, no, 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 not that button. Uh, with bills and and such that are needed. Uh, oh, it's, uh, yeah, good, good. Got that. Uh, first time I've looked at the Twitch since it's been up and running. Oh, which soon, if my understanding is correct, probably by the end of this week, we will actually have a subscribe button on Twitch. Which means those of you that have Amazon Prime accounts and you're not subscribed on Twitch and you want to support us in our equipment but you don't actually want to pay any extra money if you have your Amazon Prime you can subscribe with Amazon Prime to the Twitch channel once I get the subscription up on that just say it just say it I'm trying to upgrade my equipment and this is all I got right now and most likely my youngest son is gonna steal these when I'm not using them so yeah Thank you. I, I've got the bad eyes. I gotta look real close. Jesse Vigil. We are currently up to 33 watchers across the three platforms. 33 watchers. We hit 50 watchers all across all three platforms. I'm giving away a set of dice. I don't know who's getting it. What in the world? What in the hell? Weird things happen on my computer. Come join the chaos. So what were we talking about? I've I've plugged things. I've I've given away stuff. Well, I haven't. Well, I've added to the box. Oh, you haven't plugged the the games that you're running this week. Games. Oh, yeah. Uh, games. The games I'm running this week may be a little later than normal. Uh and they may be shorter than this week than normal. Because unfortunately, I still work in the real world like most of us. And I work till 8 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try to get out earlier so I can get up, get a home, and actually run the game. But, uh,. It may be a little bit later, and it will probably be shorter because I still got to get up at six o'clock the day after that. Oh no, I don't think I have to get up the day after that. I think I'm off. So we'll be able to run it a little bit longer. No, I still have to get up because I got to take my wife to work. So, I the the easiest way to gain a set of dice is come over to our Discord channel and be a member of the Discord channel. Ah. Uh, because we do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of stuff over there. We actually we got all kinds of stuff going on over there. We're closing on 300. We might be there by the end of the week. Yeah, we got we're we're getting close to 300 members on the Discord. I'm giving away a set of dice on that. Uh, I'm also giving away a set of dice when we hit 10 members on our Patreon. And I just need two more members for Patreon to hit to give away a set of dice on that. Man, I'm giving away dice all over the place. I'm sure I'm gonna have to call Demon Dice. Dot .ca to get <laughs> that was smooth too, wasn't it? Uh, to get some more dice to give away. Because <laughs> I will eventually run out. Uh, yeah. Patreon. Patreon. What about Patreon? The fact that we have four levels of Patreon? 
the three dollar level allows you early access to some of the homebrew stuff that we're putting out on our Discord channel. That allows you to do to throw in an NPC into a game that I'm going to run when I need a random name. Uh, the what else? What else gives you access to certain channels that are only available to Patreon subscribers? Which we need to come up with another one. I think that we need to add something else into there. Uh, I don't know what yet. Uh, then at the we can put that to Parliament and figure it out. That's a that's a really good idea. Also, because if you're a three dollars subscriber, we have that we have a one channel specifically. We call it Parliament, and you'll be a Parliament member. And Parliament members get to vote on what we do, what we give away, that sort of thing. So yeah, uh, come check that out. Uh, help, direct, help direct our future without actually having to be part of the staff. Yeah, help us destroy. Help, help me <laughs> run Severus <laughs> and tore me into the ground <laughs> with things that they have to do. I'm just a figurehead. I'm just a pretty face. Those two guys are actually. Actually, are in the, the background there in the scenes. They it's help. Twenty-five. It's been twenty-five day. hours since uh, officially this week started for me, and I already have four things up uh, for review. Yeah. So we we've got Tommy just put pu he's just pushing out that homebrew stuff, which you can only see it early if. Uh, you're a parliament member. Because uh, we hold on to that for yeah, a week. I well, got another five in the books for tomorrow. Oh. there's. Don't burn yourself out, man. Don't burn yourself out. I'm not. I. What if you want to be a member of the staff? Well, uh, that takes a little bit. We, we, have a, we have a very processed vetting procedure. Um... So it it it, it two, takes a little two bit. Main, two main things that have to happen. One, we have to hit a marker for how many people are in the Discord server. And two, you have to be a regular that helps out the Discord in yeah. some way. So to uh, thank you for liking the video side. Appreciate it. Now, uh, wait, go back, wait. Ah, where'd you go? <laughs> it ran away from me. So, Archangel. So, to, uh, to be a staff member, uh, you have to be active on our Discord. Uh, you have to be helping out and stuff in the community there. Uh, and B, we have to hit a marker where we're going to need more actual help. And we've got a, a few markers lined up where we're saying, all right, when we hit this point, we're going to need to start activating, you know, inviting people in. And and those of us that are uh, council members <laughs> outside of Parliament, we are we look at basically me and the mods, which right now are Tormi and, and Serb. We go through and we're like, all right, what about this person? We, we talk out who's doing what in the servers, and decide what's going to happen there. Uh, once we decide that, that's how we we pick our new quote unquote staff members. Uh, anything else outside of the server, we take into a parliament for giveaways and stuff like that. And parliament helps us decide what we're going to give away, when we're going to do some of the some of the bigger stuff. So there's a. We're, we're trying to build a strong interwoven close neck community can I see your cup again I'm trying to match that color is it this cup you're looking at so basically you have your own Illuminati and cult following <laughs> we don't call it a cult <laughs> it's it's just group. We're the D and D machine. GMC. Were you? Did you? You missed out, sir. 
or madam, I don't, not sure. You didn't respond. I had a set of dice for you. You. Well, oh, sorry. That that set of dice was already. It was given away. Uh, to Mono, I believe, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Mono actually won that set of dice. <laughs> the night that we first started the Black Door. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Announced right at the start of the game. I'll let you match that color up there. Yep, so, so somebody else won this set of dice because you didn't respond. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but maybe maybe you'll win the next one. Uh, so, yeah, what else is there? I'll say, so the, the second level in the Patreon, uh, you get to throw a full-blown like shopkeeper into the game somewhere that the players will meet uh, if they need like uh, an alchemist and you create an alchemist that's going to be the alchemist they end up talking to uh, plus you get all this all that other stuff I talked about then you have the approved player where I guarantee I will DM you in a game at least once a month there will be we're trying to put together one of those games right now because I have four people at that at that level that are they're going to get a game maybe end up being a long term campaign it may not it may be a one shot we're just going to see yes I've seen the D&D &D Monopoly set and that would be the only version of Monopoly I will ever play So both the approved player and the the shopkeeper level, after three months we have a loyalty program and you will get a specific piece of artwork. You're going to get a t-shirt, you're going to get a mug, just a coffee cup, just a little coffee cup. Uh, you're going to get a gator and a sticker. And uh, right now, unfortunately, it's artwork that I've created, but the money that's generated from Patreon will be going towards things like this massive giveaway box I'm doing at 10K and the dice giveaways and things like that. It was going to be used to fund more things to get D&D &D out into the community. And then there's the last level, which uh, if you, anyone signs up for that, uh, you'll never see me on stream again. But it is the Elon Musk level. It is a $50,000, but I don't think anybody's going to sign up for that one. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Okay. So I talked about Freeze Productions and his cool stuff. From You've advertised Demon Dice for the giveaways. Mm. Okay, I think we're good. Let's Even though he doesn't have a Demon Dice. Yeah, Demon Dice really needs to get 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 a site together. Yep. You you did say that you're going to be running the games later this week. But yes. You don't. You didn't say what time for the people that. About an hour later. So, uh, I was running the games. the The games I'm running this week. I'm running a Tuesday night game and a Thursday night game. The Tuesday night game is the Black Door. It's a group of assassins. Well, <laughs> it's, it's a group that works for an assassin's guild. Well, <laughs> it's... The party consists of... They actually assassinate people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Far. They almost assassinated the wrong person last week. <laughs> When you're only given a name and a key, you have to do hey, a little now. bit of the work yourself. Yeah. You have to do a little bit of the work yourself. And hang on a minute. I wasn't going to assassinate him without confirmation. I am a hired assassin. I don't just kill willy-nilly. Right. So, the Black Door consists of complete homebrew classes. 
every player is a homebrew class. Uh, it is. You'd have to watch. You can go to my Twitch and actually see the first episode on there. It's I believe it's in two parts because we had technical difficulties again. I. I'm literally going to call that our session zero because yeah, that would technically be a session zero. That was, that was close enough to a test. That was, was a test run for us to yeah, talk it was, to each other. It was <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to go watch that and watch the uh, Minotaur tea bag, tea bag the individual. <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> there you have to save him from the guard. There's. There's some interesting individual <laughs> party members. The Minotaur just teabags over the beef stick. <laughs> He's a beefalo. It he was the dumb as dirt. It, uh, was, but... it was his slim jim. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then on, <laughs> so we we have the black door on uh, on Tuesdays, and then on Thursdays we have the order of the scale. A group of individuals that were chosen for their skills and abilities across all walks of life to be the right hand, the military hand of the Emperor of Aksorin, Madak the Gold. These individuals are basically like the musketeers for this realm. And yeah, they're kind of strange ones too. And don't forget, you're playing in a game yourself. Well, I'm getting to that one. But the um, the order of the scale is actually most likely have a rotating cast because anyone that's on the Discord can hop into that game because we have an RP channel just for it. That you'd have to go. Just watch that RP channel. You'll have a blast it, there. It uh, is the most active part of our entire. Yeah, it, it it's more active in there than I've ever seen on any of the servers I've been on. And on the that game, when I open that game up, it is a first come first serve. And I think what six members, six players, and I shut the game down. I shut the the room down. And those six players are the only ones that are going to be playing that night in a live stream D and D game. So it may be some of the same players. It may be some new people come in. It all depends on what who gets chosen and who's available for what mission. Basically, whoever gets there first. Which I may change that up and put it as a, like a contest bot in there where everyone just clicks into it. And then it generates six names, and those would be the six players. And then apparently this week I'm also starring. I also have a character that's starring in a game. And I don't want to talk too much about that character, because I'm not sure what all he's going to be doing yet. And I can't say what I know. <laughs> But that's gonna be fun. So yeah, I'm willing to I'm willing to guest star in one of your games. In fact, this new Warforged I'm making is an interdimensional traveler. So if you he may just travel to your game world and sell your party goods and services. Or swindle them out of all their money. Whatever. Harva Hal asked you, um, What's the simplest puzzle you've ever thrown at a party that they've struggled to solve? <laughs> I think I've heard this one before. I don't know. Uh, I've had a couple. Uh, <laughs> Third grade puzzle or something. I have. I have thrown. I've thrown all kinds of things, and just the simplest puzzles. You you've seen the joke where you have to you know how do you get puzzles for your for your your D and D players you hunt for puzzles for elementary children. 
Uh, I did one game where there was literally everything they did for the like hour and a half dealt with the number 13 and the phases of the moon. And it listed everything they did had talked about a phase except for a full moon. And they get to the final, to this thing, and there's a door there. And it had a spot that was a circle in the center. They had a large pearl. They didn't put two and two together. <laughs> it makes five. Man, I, I had a simple puzzle that they found four candles on a table. It came with uh, with two sentences that was from shortest to tallest the flames will burn and they still didn't think they almost killed themselves in a room with no traps yeah I've <laughs> I set up a puzzle once that I thought was gonna st was gonna stump uh, the party. I used the Fibonacci sequence on setting this puzzle up. I basically went through and drew a huge grid on the floor. Or, well, not actually on the floor, but on a piece of paper. In scale to the, to the miniatures. And I started off with the Fibonacci sequence. And then I turned the paper and did another sequence so I could use it use the room over and over again and let just decide what the players wanted to do. And the one player, Zen was actually in this game. He wanted to get into that room that I had that Fibonacci sequence on there. He was so intrigued about that puzzle as he was watching the other player do it. And the other player surprised us. He got in the room and after one or two mistakes at the beginning, he immediately caught on to what was going on. And I'm like, how? These numbers are they're going in all different... He just... I think, he's, I think he misstepped... I think he only misstepped once. And then he saw it and said, let's do this. And he picked up the Fibonacci sequence... And follow that to the exit. And I'm like, how the hell did you do this? You, you, and because, you know, you, you have those friends that just aren't quite, they're beefaloes, you know, they're not, they're, they're, <laughs> their brain mass just isn't as, this. <laughs> yeah, and he, he just, oh, it's this. And do, 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 do. He, he couldn't click. He couldn't pick up a black rock in the middle of a bunch of white ones. But he figured out the Fibonacci sequence. I don't understand. <laughs> that, that's called rolling a natural twenty in real life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I've just had I've had simple ones. My favorite puzzle thing recently was uh. And we did. I ran my party through Curse of Strahd, and you have the Mad Mage there, right? Uh, I hope I'm not spoiling Curse of Strahd for anybody. You've ruined everything ever for me. Spoilers. That's so, <laughs> so in the Curse of Strahd, they, they, they you meet up with this crazy mage. It's literally he's insane. Um. And after they helped this individual, he gave them a box. Now, this is a puzzle box. This is a puzzle box I picked up at Barnes & Noble. It was a puzzle box with three puzzles in it. Little wooden puzzles on the inside. So you had to figure out how to open the puzzle box to get to the puzzles inside. 
Well, I had taken the puzzles that were inside out, and I put, I, like, I had a piece of fabric. I've got it sitting around here somewhere. It's a little piece of black fabric, about probably about this size. And uh, that was a magic item, and I'd also written out a magic item uh, for a magic staff and something else. I think it was some boots or something. And I had put it in these compartments. I'm like, and so all he did was just give it to him and say, "All right, that's your that's your reward for helping me." And he leaves. My children had been itching all night because they saw the box. And they knew it was a puzzle box. Now I say children; they're 17 and 18, but they had been itching, wanting. To, to, to look at this puzzle and figure out how to open it. My wife, who's playing clay, this was, I believe, pre-Clarence armor, uh, wanted to, she looked at the box first and she starts shaking it, trying to get it open. Well, that opened the box. That opened the puzzle box. So, in-game canon, clay, the big beefy fighter, picked up the box that was left in by the wizard and started smashing it on rocks to open it up. <laughs> That's one way to solve a puzzle. You break it. Okay, and, uh, could you click your own portrait on Discord so that Twitch can get a better view of you on the screen? Mm. You sure you want that? That's smoking me. <laughs> I mean, you've held up a couple of things. And <laughs> seeing a thumbnail versus seeing a hand is <clears throat> a, a fairly big difference. I like to just be able to see it all. Well, that's a little bit better, but not by much. So, yes, uh, freeze. Players always overthink puzzles. I had one that happened. It was a code system that me and another player used out of art for numbers. And basically, it was essentially like a fun thing. Like you got the tic tac toe board, and then you got one, two, three across the top, four, five, six. And then we would just use the uh, intersecting lines. Like a one would be a backwards L, and then a three would be an actual L, and then like five of the box. So that's how we coded our numbers. And I think me and we'll me and Serb were talking about that cipher the other night. It was a simple puzzle where. Basically had four of these tic-tac-toe grids laid out two by two, and then you had to follow a sequence of numbers. I they spent like three hours on that, and then eventually just said fuck it and ran through it and took the damage. Like it. Already answered that one. I I, I got a question. Want I hyper want uh, the the uh, one that <laughs> am and. Us talked about to actually be like thieves camp for our group. Oh, I, I might have something. I'm, I, I might have something for that later. So the shinies in the box. Yes, anyone can win the shinies in the box. The re, the requirements is first you have to make sure you're a follower of mine. If you're a follower of mine, then that's you've fulfilled one uh, requirement. The other requirement. Hasn't been posted yet because I'm going to wait till I hit 10,000 before I post that requirement. And then we shall see who wins what's in the box. Which you, we are up to 9,040 followers. 9,040. So I need 960 more people to follow me. And then we shall give away the box. And there is one, well, Tiamat's still coming. Uh, somebody is going to be printing up uh, somebody on TikTok and I think on here as well on Discord is actually going to print up some player some PC minis and send them to me 
because all I've got in there right now is monsters. So they're going to send me some player minis to throw in the box that so will be unpainted. Well, you know, you got you threw the uh, werewolves in in a werewolf campaign. If you're playing a werewolf, then you could use one of those as a you PC. could. You could. But um, I have one more item that's going to go in the box, which I will be picking up this weekend, this coming up weekend, and storing it silently away. And it will be the last item that goes in the box. And I don't even think the council member knows about that item yet. Uh, actually, I believe I mentioned it in Parliament. Oh, uh, did you? <clears throat> I may have mentioned it in Parliament. I may have mentioned it in the Council. Yep, you posted it in Parliament. It was posted in Parliament? Yep, today at 2.45. Yep, so I, I know what's going... Uh, that's right. I am. That I know what the last item that's going in the box. But there may be some little incre increment things going in here and, here and there. We shall see. Uh, Alright, guys. I would love to stay on much later, but I have to get up really freaking early tomorrow. Can you see the sword behind me? Yes, you can see the sword behind me. Uh, maybe. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know science. Or this isn't science. I'm tired. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, that is this sword. So yes, I am. I am going to sleep. Uh, real quick, uh, Tormi, can you give me a count across the board? Um, we are currently at. Uh, we're losing members quick on TikTok. Well, yeah, uh, I said I was going to we sleep. We were at thirteen, uh, fourteen over on Twitch, ten in the Discord. Our highest number was thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Okay. Well, that's that's still good. Uh, not We're still good. climbing from last week, which means eventually we'll get to that giveaway. Yep, we'll get to one of the giveaways. We'll have many more. So, thank you, and for those of you on TikTok, I imagine the guys on here, over here, and and on Discord will probably last a little bit longer here. Uh, those of you on TikTok, good night. And go forth and roll some dice. Bye bye. Yeah. All right, now they're gone. We got the cool people here now. Uh, <laughs> you gonna kill Twitch too? Yeah, we're 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 about to shut down the Twitch, the Twitches. So those of you that are on Twitch, thank you for stopping by. We do appreciate it. Uh, again. The, the link there would be one, most helpful. Uh, I was fixing to say, mention that one more time. Oh, I yeah. Down to it. Uh, just go go give them a hand if you can. Um, we would really appreciate it. They would really appreciate it. And it's for a good thing. Yeah, helping somebody out. It's always good. We'll come back. We'll go around. What comes around goes around. Do good things, good things happen. Look, look at me. That's not a good example. Um, no, Luke, don't you, laugh at that. That was not that funny. You wanted you you wanted to help people get more into this game. You started getting support by people, and now you have a super supportive staff for your Discord. Yeah, I have. So I yeah, it does work out. It it does. It uh, if you help people, people help you, and I'm trying to help people. Uh, we're trying to help people, and the more of us help the better off we all are so follow the link on there please help out if you can we'd really appreciate it and after that now i'm going to say to you good night and go forth and roll some dice good night <laughs>